I recently got a Matex Systems F722-WPX flight controller. Um, I really just needed a flight controller, but I also wanted to check out the new, uh, or the somewhat new FR Sky Pixel OSD. Um, and I figured this A10 that I've been, I've had, um, I ended up frying the flight controller was in it while doing some other stuff to it. Would be pretty cool to have a graphical OSD while flying around. So I grabbed that, got it all wired up. Uh, it's been going normal iNav setup, um, no issues. And the only thing I did notice, pop up a shot here of the OSD. You'll notice the camera is basically centered on the cockpit frame that I have in this, the 3D printed um, setup. But the OSD is pretty far off to the right. It's also riding right up on the top line of the screen. And the bottom line of text that I have in iNav, if I add a text line below that, it won't show up in the OSD. So I was trying to figure out if there's a way to adjust that, and actually there is. And to do that, you just need to go to the GitHub page. I'll have the link down below, but for the FR Sky RC Pixel OSD. And you can download the app here. Um, I'm not going to go through all of those, kind of scroll here. But basically, I got the Windows app, and that app looks like this. It's super basic and simple. You just select your port, connect it. And it's going to let you know what font it has uploaded right there. You can upload a font. Um, pick any one of these from iNav or Betaflight or your own. Um, when you click any one of the selections here, it automatically uploads it. So I've already got clarity loaded in here. I'm not going to worry about it. I noticed this OSD version is on 1.0. And um, then I wanted to try and change the settings. But as you see, it says you can't. So super easy with this app. You just click that. Latest firmware is two on here, and it goes through its thing. When you click the settings, it pops up this little window saying waiting for camera. You have to cycle on your power for the aircraft. It's also good at this point to make sure you have a VTX so you can see what's going on and where you're moving things. So now um, here in the OSD. You can see there are some lines in that block. So what I need to do is move the OSD to the left. So I'm going to move this horizontal offset. So I need to move everything to the left. So I'm going to grab this slider here and I'm going to move it left. As you see, if I move it left, the OSD moves left. So I move it right, it moves right. So I'm going to try about 50 here. You can also do it one by one here. And then if we move the vertical offset, See, left goes up, right goes down. So I'm going to try about 10. For that. So then I'm going to close this. And unfortunately, it, it saves it in there, but we're going to have to um, cycle power to get it to display again. So I'm going to disconnect, unplug my USB, and I'm going to cycle power on the aircraft. Now we see as the power comes back up, the centering is good, left to right. However, the bottom line is now cut off. So I'm going to have to bring that back up. So I'll go back in there and put the vertical back to zero. I want to hope that later uh, FR Sky fixes that somehow. Now we get the OSD back. And there we go. Looking good as far as center. We can see the top and bottom line sitting. Let me see that gap there at the bottom. Um, not a huge fan of that right now, but I, it's also not a huge complaint. So we'll kind of let that go. Well, I'm going to try and see if I can tip my wings a little bit. So you can see the uh, roll. And then uh, pick up the tail. So that's picking the tail up. So it's nosing down. Back to horizontal. I put the whiteboard up again just to make it a clearer background, less clutter. So that's uh, that. And then the other thing I want to show is uh, I've now got tilt, so I can look down in the cockpit. Uh, I'll get the stick there. And then the uh, pan. And when I set it up so that when I pan left and right, it actually gets rid of the horizon and sidebars, but everything else kind of stays. And that's just through the modes. I just have the mode of um, 1000 to about 1450 set for alt OSD2 
and then about 1550 to 2000 set for all LSD2 also. So that way I know when I'm centered, but also it's not all cluttered when you're looking to the side. It'll get a little confusing as you're rolling and looking over to the side with the horizon lines. So hope that uh, helped. And uh, this is some things I've learned. And uh, I hope that if you have any questions, please ask. I'll try and answer any questions um, for the Pixel LSD that I can figure out. Uh, hopefully we can get this bottom line of uh, lost information back, um, figure out something there. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.